Listen, man, before we get into this video, I really want to shout out Team Jersey's Pros, right? They sent me this Stitch Handmade 713 Houston Sports Jersey. It has a hand stitch Mr. 713 on the back. You know, I'm very surprised on the quality of this jersey. These guys let me absolutely customize this. They have so many different types of ways you can create jerseys, hoodies, basketball, baseball, all types of stuff. Let's just go ahead and check out their website. Here we are, guys. Team Jerseys Pro. You, as you can see here, free shipping on all orders. These guys do it absolutely all. Look at the best sellers. I got this one right here. 30 bucks, guys. A fantastic jersey. Fits me good. These guys make replicas, man, from, like I said, football, basketball. You see here, you could customize it any shape, way, or form. These guys got hella great reviews. I mean, and you see it here. I mean, these jerseys look authentic. It legit looks like you went to a, you know, a Nike, a, you know, and got one of these expensive as baseball, football jerseys. So go ahead, guys, check it out. I'm going to drop the link down below, right? Use promo code 713 Houston. It's going to get you 10% off, guys. Let me know what you get. Send some pics or we'll drop it down in a video, guys. Thank y'all so much. And let's go on with this mock draft now we're going to go ahead and use the houston texans as all we guys and the dolphins as well until another team could just come out and you know and make a case for deshaun watson and say you know we're going to give you hella draft picks maybe some players then i'm gonna choose another team but but as right now i do think it ends up being the miami Dolphins. uh horny boy deshaun watson does go now here you have here kavon thibodeau Obviously going number one. I do hope one of the one of the mock drafts we take him, you know, if he is available to us. But we took Derek Stingley. We took um someone we haven't take is Evan Neal, the offensive tackle from Alabama. Dude is an absolute behemoth of a man. Do you want to take him at two? You know, there's a lot of people that say he might even be in you know, in line for number one. I believe we took Kyle Hamilton or we haven't taken him yet. Aiden Hunt just is jumping up a lot of people's boards. But I think you need to go best player available. We've taken Stingley. We've taken um, DeMarvin Leal. But I do think a safety, because Kyle Hamilton is a safety, he might end up, you know, in the top five. Definitely not at two. I want to go ahead and see, you know, and build this offensive line. This is the best player you know, on the board after Kavon Thibodeau, in my opinion. Now, let's see where we could go at nine. And like we saw here, right? Kyle Hampton going at six. At number nine, I think it's now time to focus. And someone who like right here, DeMarvin Leal, the, the big, huge defensive end from, uh, you know, from Texas A&M. I don't mind taking him right here at nine. You know, you got to go best player available when you're in situations like this. I do like Andrew Booth, uh, the corner from Clemson. Um, you know, if if Liao is not there, I'm definitely taking um, Mr. Andrew Booth Jr. Evan Neal, are you going to put him at right tackle or left tackle? He could play both. But then what do you do with Larry Tunsil? Do you put him at right tackle and keep Titus at guard? A lot of questions, a lot of questions with taking, you know, an offensive tackle at number two overall. But the dude's absolutely just massive. Now, pick 34. Let's see which, you know, Carson Strong, the QB from Nevada, taken off the board. Desmond Riddler going to... um. To the Pittsburgh Steelers, Malik Willis to the Falcons, Sam Howell, Matt Corral. A lot of quarterbacks taken in the first round. You know, very something um, strange. But right here, this is another no-brainer. I, I don't care if I if I see this guy multiple times. I'm taking him. I'm taking Tyler Lindenbaum, the generational type center. And look, man, if you could build, you know, your offensive line in this draft, Absolutely go ahead. I'm sorry. I did not mean to trade that. But the benefit of having trading, you know, Deshaun Watson, you do have another first-round pick. And what do the Houston Texans get at 35? Do you go best player available? Well, it's this guy who could be a potential guard. 
Let's see. Well, we have Nicobe Dean. You know, we've taken him, you know, many times. Jordan Battle is another safety as well. Um, so far, we've taken up, you know, off tackle, defensive line, offense, you know, O line as well. So we're drafting for the trenches. You know, I don't mind this here into second round. You know, let's see. Do I want to get someone who could potentially be a playmaker for this team? And George Pickens, I mean, the dude, 6'3. The Houston Texans need another, you know, solid wide receiver alongside of Cooks. You do not know how longer you're going to have them. Um, Nicobe Dean is someone that I find very interesting to look at. Um, but it's been a long time with the Houston Texans really focused in on skill position players. I mean, let's also look at running back as well. Kenneth Walker, the guy from Michigan, someone who might be the best running back, you know, who might climb up draft boards. This is a tough one for me right here at two. You know, I think we've drafted for need. I think here, you, yeah, you know, I think you have to go here with best player available, someone who could change your offense. If the quarterback is Davis Mills, if it's someone else, you know, the Houston Texans could definitely have some options there. Kenny Pickett taken, you know, by the Washington football team. It's going to be interesting to see what the Houston Texans do at quarterback, right? Do they take one? Do they trust Davis Mills? Do they think he could lead this franchise for the upcoming years? We're going to have to wait and see. But one thing I know was N'Kobe Dean has been falling in the draft. Oh, and he just got taken right before me by the – um by the Detroit Lions, but that's okay. Because when you have someone like Christian Harris, you know, big dude, 6'2", needs to lose a little bit of weight, but he is an absolute freak. You know, could do it all, like I said right here. He's played linebacker, wide receiver, DB. You want to, you know, you want to get someone who is great in pass coverage, and at 66, you're getting the value of 38. Not sure how you don't take that, right? I do love Nicobe Dean out of Georgia, but if you could go ahead and get, you know, someone out of Alabama, that's fine too. Isaiah Spiller. Why the Giants take Isaiah Spiller with still having a Saquon is beyond me. That's why this is one of the most fun things about mock drafts that these are going to be never going to be accurate. And let's see with pick 86. Definitely think the Houston Texans. Need to try to help the secondary here. You know, Jermaine Waller, 6-1 corner, big guy. Think, you know, not afraid to go one-on-one. -on -one. Think someone you have to take at, uh, at you know, at 86. You definitely don't want to tight end. You just drafted, you know, a linebacker. You got to get the guy who could potentially be back there in your secondary. And the Houston Texans might have one more pick. Okay. At 86, do you want to go ahead and get an edge guy? You just drafted the Marvin Leal, Christian Kirksey. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and go best player available on the board. This is, I think, the Houston Texans should have post draft. You know, really fill your needs, you know, in the picks, you know, 2 through 30, you know, Honestly, 2 through 35 is where you should be looking to players to fit your needs. And in this, you know, draft, we, you know, we got the offensive line. We got a center. We got a, you know, a big body wide receiver, heavy on defense, like I do suggest. And let me know what you guys think about potentially having, you know, a, a draft like this where we, where we really focus on the trenches and, you know, get, the gems or the skill position players if they become available. Let me know what you guys think. As always, guys, go Texans. You guys have a very blessed day.